So, you want me to go first? You want to go first. Oh, I don't care. Let me get my watch going now. Break. Oh, yeah. No, you totally go first. Yes. Break the spider web? Yes. Hi, I'm Ralph, and welcome to my running adventures. If you enjoy my videos, I'd really appreciate you subscribing to my channel by clicking the subscribe icon down in the corner. Thank you. So there's just about a week left before the Mohican Trail Race. I'm doing my last trail run today. I did a long run last week. I did 16 miles, so I'm done with those long runs. I'm just doing short runs right now. Uh, don't want to get too tired. want to maintain my energy and be well rested for the race, but I don't want to lose any conditioning I've developed. So today's run is going to be about four to six miles. My daughter Christina is joining me today. She's also going to join me with for the race. We're pretty excited about doing that. So my goal for the race is simply to finish, and, and the secret to that is called conservation of energy. I need to make sure I keep my pace pretty even, especially in the beginning. There's kind of a saying in running that races are never won in the beginning, but they are lost, so I don't want to start out too hard. And of course, I'm going to walk anything that I think might be dangerous, meaning a lot of trip hazards. I'm going to walk most hills. It's all about that conservation of energy and make sure I can maintain it for the 26.7 miles. So my daughter Christy has joined me. I, I was telling earlier, this is my last trail run. You going to do any more trail runs? After? No, no, yeah, yeah. no, this is going to be So it. we both did long runs last week, so now it's just more maintaining the conditioning we've developed. So I said my goal for the race is to finish. You got any my, other different goals? My, so, so mine is to finish and to finish in under the amount of time it took me last time. I, kind, last I, time I was pretty like, much doing like a death crawl at the end. Yeah. <laughs> so as long as I hit under 13 hours, I'm yeah, done. Yeah, so I was kind of, so I did 10 hours in 2017. I'm figuring Show with off. the less heat. It's the long legs. Yeah, it's a long legs. With the yeah, less the heat, heat should, make a should make a big difference. So, so also it's Halloween. You, you gonna go as Harry Potter? No, no, but I'm thinking about getting an orange shirt and putting, um, have you seen those shirts that have um, 2020 is boo sheet and it's little uh, little ghosts with sheets over oh, them. Would you make two of them if you said Sure. Okay, so that'll be our costume maybe. So we're looking forward to doing it and we'll check back in with you later. So we've noticed, not only is there a lot of leaves on the uh, trail here, but they're wet, which means we're being very careful about downhill and things that makes it slippery. So I decided a while back to slide down some steps to show you how kind of slippery the trail was. I didn't hurt myself. So we found another trail runner out today. Looks like he's heading back to the visitor center. I think he's a little faster than you. <laughs> so we're back, we did a little over five miles. How would you describe the trail? Um, well, in words that are appropriate for mixed company, it was rough. It was. It, very <laughs> slippery, very treacherous yeah. out there, all the wet leaves. So I took oh, one mud. little spill down some steps, but we're back. Uh, boy, slowed down my pace. I bet it increased my pace at least 25%, 30% at least, yeah. at least four or five minutes more per mile. Well, and but, the girl behind you that kept having to stop well, she, help. she kept pushing <laughs> me. Yeah. Oh, sure. So anyway, so we're, I think this will be our last trail run. And so next trail run will be at the Mohican. We'll talk to you then. Thanks. Thank you.